by education i mean an all round drawing out of the best in child and man body mind and spirit we know that october 2nd is observed as the birth day of gandhi or gandhi jayanti and united nations organization has declared years back this day as international day of non violence today in this fine occasion i would like to share a few thoughts on the life and philosophy of mahatma gandhi born on october 2nd 1869 at porbandar in kathiawar in gujarat mohandas karamchand gandhi was the son of a diwan of a small native state his mother was religious and saintly lady he always acknowledged the deep influence of his mother on his religious and moral bent of mind he took his degree in law from england and later started practicing in south africa in south africa he was shocked to see the degrading conditions of the indians settled there and by addressing their problems entered into public life he came back to india in 1915 and india struggle for freedom witnessed its momentum under the leadership of mahatma gandhi all these details we have studied in our history lessons in smaller class but the people like me and you that have born in the free india are indeed rediscovering mahatma gandhi who is gandhi the father of a nation the man of the millennium or the greatest politician india ever seen or simply a man who contributed a holiday every year to watch films in our favorite tv channels to get a clear answer one would have to study his acts and writings in immense detail for his whole life was a sort of pilgrimage in which every act was significant gandhi was a man who enriched the world simply by being alive inside the saint near saint or saint like character there was a very shrewd able person who could if he had chosen have been a brilliant success as a lawyer an administrator or perhaps even a business man instead he has selected the path of social service he fought for the oppressed and depressed sections of the society he preached what he practiced he has his own ideologies and philosophy about everything on earth he used to passive resistance later renamed as satyagraha truthfulness and non violence or ahimsa as the weapon against the mighty british power he was entirely varied from the present day politicians and social activists he can be well called as a humble half naked old man sitting on a praying mat and shaking the empires by sheer spiritual power he was the hub of all moral values and truth and knowledge the famous poet in malayalam sri walathol narayana menon in his famous poem enda gurunathan described gandhi as the incarnation or the hub of the values of great personality walathol says ക്രിസ്തുദേവന്റെ പരിത്യാഗശീലവും സാക്ഷാൽ കൃഷ്ണനാം ഭഗവാന്റെ ധർമ്മരക്ഷോപായവും ബുദ്ധന്റെ അഹിംസയും ശങ്കരാചാര്യരുടെ ബുദ്ധിശക്തിയും രന്ദിദേവന്റെ ദയാവായ്പും ശ്രീഹരിചന്ദ്രനുള്ള സത്യം ും മുഹമ്മദിൻ സ്ഥൈര്യവും 
ഒരാളിൽ ചേർന്നൊത്തു കാണണമെങ്കിൽ ചെല്ലുവിൻ ഭവാന്മാരൻ ഗുരുവിൻ നികിടത്തിലല്ലായിൽ അവിടുത്തെ ചരിത്രം വായിക്കുവിൻ വളത്തോൾ സെയ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഗാന്ധി ഹാസ് ദ വാല്യൂസ് ഓഫ് ലോട്ട് കൃഷ്ണ ജീസസ് ബുദ്ധ ശങ്കരാചാര്യ രന്തി ദേവ ശ്രീ ഹരിശ്ചന്ദ്ര ആൻഡ് മുഹമ്മദ് വി നോ ദാറ്റ് ഓൺ വൺ ഹാൻഡ് ഇന്ത്യ ഇൻ ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി വി ആർ അച്ചീവിങ് വി ആർ അച്ചീവിങ് ദ ടോപ്പ് പൊസിഷൻസ് ഇൻ ദ ഫീൽഡ് ഓഫ് ഹെൽത്ത് ഇൻ ദ ഫീൽഡ് ഓഫ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഇൻ ദ ഫീൽഡ് ഓഫ് all sorts of knowledge agriculture technology and even we know that we use a 4g phone and we have we have lunar mission many there are there is no area have india so far not achieved its positions but on the same time we also see especially during this lockdown situation we also see a lot of cultural degradation and value deduction in our society throughout the country we feel or people see the worst form of nepotism corruption issues related to caste and gender and lot and lot so in this fine occasion i would like to say that we all must try to understand the life and philosophy of mahatma gandhi and we should develop a we feeling instead of i feeling once again i am reiterating it we should have we should possess the quality of we feeling instead of i feeling if we have the we feeling only we can develop a great nation with or which promote national integration and if you are able to promote national integration in the country then only we can achieve international peace so once again in this great day i wish you all a happy day thank you and jai hind jai bharat